versus Anduin. So Spellhunter is one of the decks that I use to ladder up to, um, that I use to ladder up to um, rank five with. I really like this deck a lot. It, uh, it's really like a true mid-range deck. It's controlling against the aggressive decks and it's aggressive against the controlling decks. Uh, I'm mulliganing those cards there because you really want to dig for kind of like traps and your spellstone in your opener against another control deck. I played Nidra. I played a little bit of... I played a little bit of Spiteful Druid, and I played a little bit of Token Druid on stream. Binning two traps and taking a Spellstone feels really bad, but I think Spellstone's definitely the take there. And I Bingo Warrior. And yeah, the control warrior, it, it, yeah, uh, that's the first time I played a uh, played warrior. As you saw, we leveled we leveled up and got um, got the last card that I needed for it while we were playing. But unfortunately, we don't have any traps here. Getting a piggy is pretty good here. Well, I guess this is bad if they have the dust breaker, right? Try like Drake, sure. So this is pretty clean. I get to go set your health total to one. Arcane shot, kill you, shoot you, smush you. And then next turn, I can go coin to my side, which gives me two animal companions. So there's two payoffs for playing a, a hunter deck without any minions in it. One of them is to my side, which gives you two animal companions if you don't have any minions in your deck. And the second one is uh, the Roke, Rokadurler, or however it's pronounced. You want to use the two the side pretty aggressively in this matchup because the mage deck or the priest deck has a seven drop that returns um that shuffles all minions in play into your deck so they can actually take away the benefit from playing a minionless deck by sticking minions into your deck later the fact that we we popped another pig here makes this really bad against dustbreaker which is unfortunate Flanking Strike was a great draw there. It deals three damage to something and then makes a wolf, which lets me cleanly do this upstairs and just keep pressuring them here. Rock Delar. That sounds right. Okay, them just spending resources to heal here is so good for us. Especially with like Kill Command plus the Seagull Horn Bow in our hand. Like we've got, we've got a lot of damage output here. So they're going to 12 here. This is five points of reach. This is three points of reach. Is it nuts to just spell stone plus hit them with this? I guess that means I'm out of beasts, but I have like Rexar to start building beasts next turn. So I mentioned it earlier, Plutonium, the deck tracker was down for a bunch of people that were using it. Yeah, usually two Nivik, Rexar and the Rokdar. The weapon does deal six over two turns. It also means it leaves me this in case they sweep and they kind of need to sweep. Yeah, that sequence is probably better. This puts them down to seven. And then like next turn, I can go this plus this, or if they don't kill my minions, I can do uh, this plus this. Mm, that's a little unfortunate. Scale Worm's pretty good. Are they dead? They're going to nine? They're so close to dead. Oh, they're exactly dead, right? At, that's over dead. So this does this, and then we had them dead anyways, because we do this, and then we face them. Yeah, getcha. Okay, I don't... I don't know what's going on, chat. We're actually climbing ranks. I don't, I don't understand. I spent, I spent so much time trying to play, trying to play different shaman decks, sitting at the bottom of rank five. That climbing up feels weird. I basically don't really care about getting to Legend. I'm just interested in playing sweet games. Priest again. Is this the same Priest opponent or a different one? It's a different one. Um, Animal Companion is good here because we want to be aggressive. I think Kill Command and Wing Blast are not needed. 
Pondering Monster is pretty good, especially if they have a one drop. Mmm, that's so good. Again, Priest is usually controlling deck, so like having having our aggressive draw or playing as the controlling deck is fantastic. So Wandering Monster says when our hero gets attacked, it summons a random three drop that gets attacked instead. Yeah, I think I think this means Inner Fire Priest usually. I actually have Inner Fire Priest in the donation queue. We might finish up with that today. And I believe this means Inner Fire Priest usually. Well, since they didn't pop our secret, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And this weapon is so good. It attacks for three, and then every time they attack us and a secret's revealed, we uh we get an extra durability. You know, no real desire to go play physical tournaments. I've I've played more than my fair share of physical tournaments. It used to trigger on enemy secrets too. That's great. Would really like to draw another trap next turn so we can go like set trap plus face them and then hunter's mark. That's pretty decent. How do you feel about clearing their board here? I think I just like clearing. I definitely want to kill this, right? Do I want to? I think I want to kill this too. I hunt alone. And this way, my wolves can get played out next turn. I don't have a lot going on here. I don't really need to get too greedy with holding value for the wolves because, like, Dustbreaker is just going to blow out value wolves anyways. That, however, since we drew it, it's not really waiting. Animal Companion this turn. Oh, the Piggy to Flute. And this is a Freezing Trap here, so if they go to trade into the Peg, this is going to get flipped back to their hand, which is nice. I have to beat him my Trap God! It's going to let them trigger it again, but it buys us tempo. And considering we're definitely the control deck in this matchup, a little bit of tempo is good, I think. actually pretty good that is also pretty good um huh did i just smash through this now i think i just smashed through this now what's going on smurry two forning there feels a little bit bad but usually you're playing from behind with this deck if we were looking for deathstalker rexar rokadar so that way we can gas back up is annoying but not the end of the world hopefully they get frisky and use this to attack our face next turn and then we get the wandering monster off looking to dodge dustbreaker here and these are the types of situations where like rexar and rokhtar are just insane just because like you use all of your resources every single turn with it I think we're getting combo killed, Jet. You are the shadow's puppet. We are currently getting beamed, that is correct. Hunter's mark, Hunter's mark, Hunter's mark. Flanking strike, all right, so. I'm gonna start with this and see if we get the Anthem guy. We got a pig. Okay, so. Like they blew their load here. So I think we're just trading into this. And then eat this here. And then we're hoping to just like draw Rexar or Orokadar to like get, get back in the game.
We have uh, 19 cards in our deck, and we still have two trackings in there too that'll help us dig to them. That's pretty good. It's gonna kill my 4-1. I'm gonna kill my 3-2 here. Yep. Yeah! Woo! So Rexar, when he comes into play, he shoots everything for two, and then he changes our hero power to build a beast. So for two resources, we combine two monsters of our choice. Take a four four. Take a five five wind fury. Come dance to my song. They're gonna have a hard time grinding through Rexar, especially since they blew they blew a lot of their combo cards. Or they already used them. Or is that a blue? Maybe the wrong word. Your beasts have charge. This is pretty good. Would I rather just do this to my side here? I think I'd kind of rather just do this. And like next turn I can go five drop, five drop. I think I just want to keep their board clear at this point. I think I don't want to accidentally get comboed by them, so I keep keeping their board clear seems good. Our secret is a wandering monster, so that'll actually buy us a turn against their combo at some point. I have 10 cards in their deck. This lifesteal will actually be pretty relevant to zero nine taunt. Okay. Hey, 17 months. Thank you, GW Hall. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I mean, the O9 eventually doubles up, right? They could potentially combo us here, but the fact that this is a wandering monster should save us from that. The summoning is adorable. You're not wrong. The, the little animation details of this game does is so, does is so excellent. Blizzard is very good at what they do. They almost certainly need to kill this, right? Because it's Wind Fury. It's like a 6-5 with Wind Fury. I suppose they could smash into this, then it's just a 5-5 with Wind Fury, but that's still pretty good. Yep. Going on Rachel Bell. Their sequencing was a little bit bad there. Because they took one more damage on this than they needed to. They silenced my dork. That's annoying. Alright, so the fact that I'm going to be able to wing blast this turn is nice because this will die. So... I'm going to start by building a beast and see what we get. Whenever this attacks, it attacks minions next to it. It's pretty decent. Life steal and rush, yep. Huh. So this can attack in here and then this can finish here. It also kills this, right? Yeah, sweet. All right, and then... I go ahead and kill this, which trades there. I think I'm just gonna play this out and pass. I don't know, the 1410 doesn't seem like a big deal. What's going on, turn one to ball? Especially with the, based on the fact that we, like, have this wandering monster here, this doesn't seem terrible for us. Like, the fact that we've killed their card draw. Wing Blast will be slightly harder to turn on at this point, which sucks, but... Yeah, they don't want to attack into this, which is great for us. Where's my bow? There's my bow. Oh, yeah. 
So I can attack into here now and take some damage. And then I can do this, which will gain it back. Ding. You just, you just can't outgrind, Rexer. Good luck, Godspeed. Yeah, lifesteal on him is fantastic. All right, so that hit there actually means that this Wing Blast is gonna be able to finish this off, which is nice. Start with this. Poisonous is probably better for finishing this off, right? So I can do this, I can do this, I can send this here, I can wing blast for one to finish this, just like super efficient turn. What's going on, Mini Koopa? Welcome to a live one. Wonder if they're gonna pack it in when we draw 10 cards here in a second. So when we play this, if there's no minions in our deck, which there aren't, this fills our hand with hunter cards. Just a bunch of randoms, which a lot of them are good. It's also a four, four attack weapon. Well, that's going to be very dead here in half a second. I don't think I really care about Rat Trap. I just like Hunter's Mark this and then Toxic Arrow it. And then I can play Rat Trap, and then I can play Emerald Spellstone for four wolves, and then I can smack you in the face. They've been playing this game for a while. They don't want to give it up. They, don't, they know they're getting ground down. They don't want to... Yep. Yeah, we are on, are on the lower delay mode. All right, we just get to beat through that. Yeah, I was gonna say, we just like crushing walls and then crush them. Are we, are we done here yet? Your, your card advantage is not built for what we're currently have going on. And this is my favorite deck in Hearthstone's current standard format. And this deck is going to get a lot better because they nerfed Warlock. And Warlock is the single worst matchup for this deck. So the fact that that deck's gonna be a little bit less powerful is a big deal for us. If you like mid-range decks, this is the deck for you. I haven't nerfed it yet, but they're going to. They're going to. I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. Hunter's Mark and Kill Command aren't usually needed against Paladin, especially not early. Freezing Trap is fine. Hopefully we find a Spellstone when we mulligan here. Grievous Bite is really good against Paladin. So is Wandering Monster. We have turned our curse into so they're playing strength. even Paladin. Maybe. That's definitely true. Many games are, are more complex than one deck. Your one matchup is, is no longer hard, so your, your deck is better. We have definitely more subtleties than that. Q Block kind of dominated as like the best control shell that other control decks couldn't keep up with so when you add other control decks to the format then they those might also have good matchups against spell hunter doesn't it syntech it's super close mm, that's good I think I'm gonna be just pretty conservative with my health total here and just clean these out. I could wait. 
No, I'm not doing any hex stuff anymore, Buck Nasty. So, by waiting on playing the traps out too, this also gives me more time to potentially draw a spellstone to power up by playing these traps out. How much do I think this deck would cost you? I don't have a good estimate for that. The the metric for how much things like this tend to cost or how many legendaries are in it. And there's two legendaries in this deck and two epic cards. So I don't know what the what the conversion of dust to dollars is there. I, I think I think I remember reading that the average conversion of dust to dollars is a hundred dust is one dollar so two legendaries is 32 dollars then and two epics is four is is eight dollars so probably 40 or 50 bucks all right pretty sure i'm just gonna start clearing their crap out at this point i guess i could have flanking struck them I'm gonna put Wandering Monster into play for now. They didn't put anything too scary in. These both have Death Rattle, so no reason to Explosive Trap aggressively here. It's actually a pretty good hit. They're probably gonna want to trade this into here. Yes, yeah, so we, we got a pseudo two for one because like they got all of these minions off of their off of their thing that gets more minions. If they just play out all their stuff here, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the explosive trap out and not be greedy. I've got Rokthar in my hand, so just like spending my cards out here is pretty appealing, so I can fire up with that later. Alright, they were pretty conservative with what they played out here, playing around explosive trap, which is smart. I think because they're being conservative, I'm just going to go ahead and flanking strike them. Generally, I want to try and, like, put them in a position where they can't afford to play around my... They can't afford to play around my explosive trap, and they put them in a bad spot. So, killing their 1-1 here, plus putting a wolf into play that, like, controls their board further. Like, that card's, like, Flame Tongue Kavu plus plus plus, because the Kavu itself can also attack things. So we're gonna Hunter's Mark the crap out of this one. That could find uh, Rexar. That's unfortunate. Uh, Unleash the Hounds is pretty good. That's just gonna be a clear, right? So I just go ahead and do this. And then we Hunter's Mark here. And then go smash, 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 eat, smash your face. And as far as consecrations go, that one was pretty pretty low impact, which is nice for us. Reporting for duty. Tracking could find Rexar. That's unfortunate. To my side's pretty good. Got like to my side here. With the taunter, that's decent. It's interesting, I see the talk, people talking about Quest Rogue in chat, like, it's interesting the way they took, because the, the, the way they took to handle Quest Rogue is definitely a manner that makes it so you can still play the deck, but it's weaker. So the big question is going to be like, is this enough weaker that mid-range and control decks can actually keep up with it? Hey, link the code in chat. There should be a thing on your screen if you're on mobile. Uh, I don't have it offhand, I guess. That's a... Big bag of aggressive. Oh, that's actually pretty good for us. All right, well, now I'm just gonna bow them, right? 
I'm just gonna go coin, freezing trap, bow, draw seven, kill your thing. It's using my health total pretty aggressively here, but hopefully with the card advantage from the bow, we can pull through. That's pretty good. Crushing Walls is decent. Arcane Shot is great. We're going to burn whatever card we draw next turn now, though, which does mean if we draw Rexar, I'm going to be super tilted. So ideally, let's not draw Rexar. Unleash the Hounds is pretty good there, but it's not nearly as good as Rexar would have been, so. Um, I kind of need a way to gain health, but I don't really have a good way to do that. I guess this could make a taunt minion, potentially. Did not. The fact that we haven't drawn either of our spell stones yet this game is kind of unreal. I'm gonna rat trap just in case they might trigger that. I don't think I'm gonna attack with my bow just yet. They already played one of their oozes. Maybe I'm just supposed to attack with it to pressure. I don't have any more weapons left. I have two eagle horn bows in my deck. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with this because there's two eagle horn bows in my deck still. So they managed to play three cards this turn. The Rat Trap will trigger, which will give us a 6-6. Six, six. I also have Freezing Trap. Yeah, they're just going for the face here. If they have the deal six damage card, or eight damage, we're dead. Which they probably do. This is the BM beforehand. Yeah. Good game opponent. That was close. Yeah. Yeah, without... Without Rexar, or, or with, yeah, without Rexar, in order to build you uh, life steal minions or life rush or whatever it's called, um, you really don't have a good way to. You don't have a way in this deck to buffer your health total back up, which is a very real problem against the aggressive deck. Sometimes you don't have a way to generate armor or to get your health total back up towards where it started. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. I appreciate it. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I stream a bunch of Magic the Gathering. We just started streaming some Hearthstone. Uh, this deck list and all the deck lists that we play on stream are pretty much viewer submitted deck lists. So if you're interested in having uh, me play your deck on stream, check out bit.ly forward slash hoogle sellout or exclamation point donation deck in chat. Huh. Rexar is probably great against Warrior to keep. I'm gonna mulligan this Grievous Bite looking for a trap for the Spellstone. Warrior's usually more controlling, I think. Perfect. So being able to set ourselves up to be aggressive here is ideal. None will survive. Playing odd warrior, sure. So they gain four for a turn, basically. Our curve's really strong here. We get to go trap, powering this up on two, and animal companion on three, and hopefully race them down here. Is going to be a grind for sure. I, th I think with Rexar in our hand, we're going to be in a good position to grind, but they definitely, definitely have tools to win the game, depending on what their stuff looks like. I wonder if it's possible I want a tracking on two. Nah, I probably just want to start pressuring ASAP. I say I could tracking into another. I could potentially tracking into into another trap to power this up, but I can't play this for two more turns anyway, so there's not really an appeal to doing that sooner. Next turn, I can go tracking trap candle shot. I'm gonna shield bash this. Shield slam, yep. Stay gym. To my side is pretty great here. Start smashing them. And so this is only making three wolves right now, but I'm definitely not going to get greedy in this matchup. I just want to, like, output my damage as fast as possible. They probably have brawls or other sweepers in their deck, so I'm not going to be greedy and try and get more wolves. Let's just, like, put my nine power into play and hope I can run them down. Yep. Yeah, Rexar. Rexar's, like, Rexar's 10 out of 10 my favorite card in this game. So that's probably another reason why I've been playing so much Spell Hunter and enjoying it. I'll leave the last attack on this candle shot in case we draw Hunter's Mark and they have something large, but I think getting in my couple of chip shots here is fine. Maybe it maybe it's silly to get the chip shots in just because they're getting four every turn anyways, and I don't need to win by a lot. Oh. 
wonder if we'll see a brawl here or something that destroys their armor to kill my board. I really don't mind a sweeper here just because I'm going to get to play to my side as the follow up. I'm fast and furious. The fact that they didn't sweep here, I, I'm pretty sure means I just to my side aggressively. Yeah, another to my side sounds excellent. That was as aggressive as possible. Rexor is the heart so kiki jiki, basically. Basically. All right. Pigger wolf, pigger wolf. I guess either any of them are fine at this point, just because I have another two to the side. All right, we got to keep a wolf. I get to chew my side again next turn. Just like keep on the pressure. I'm gonna poke, I'm gonna nug them for one here and put this other candle shot on. And then next turn, we'll get to go Deathstalker, Rexar, and to build a beast. Then we just start building beasts every turn and hopefully grind them down with it. That's actually kind of decent for us. Are they going to shield slam? So what we're going to do now is instead of building a beast this turn, we're going to go ahead and go Rexar, Grievous Bite this. And then, or we can death mark. This only does to minions, right? Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna go Rexar, Grievous Bite, and face you, face you. And I think I wanna just nug them again. I have the Hunter's Mark, but like I have three uses on this. Sweet. And uh, Hunter's Mark plus our bow is going to clear right through that, so that's great. All right, 19. We have seven in, in play. Start by building a beast and see what we find. Life Drinker seems great. I like Reach. So that costs four. I have to pay one so I can pay six this turn. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go smash you, smash you. And again, just like they have to try and grind through this card advantage that is Rexar, and just like he just provides a steady stream of win conditions. You can actually win in fatigue with this deck a lot of the time by generating lifesteal minions with Rexar. It's quite excellent. Okay, if they have the card that lets them deal damage equal to their armor, they can hero power and then clean the board, but then they're at nine, which is still pretty good for us, especially if we can find a charge minion. There's little pigs that charge. It's another shield block. Okay. Do you have the sweep? They don't. Okay. So they just gained 14. So let's... That doesn't do a whole lot. Let's start with this. So, because I have this Eagle Horn Bow in my hand, I'm actually just going to go ahead and poke them here. Just so I can set up to use that next turn. They desperately need a Sweeper here. Whoa! I was like, why did they do that? That's why they did that. That's pretty fucking good. King Mosh. Taunt Poison. Give me three armor. And again, like, that was a good swing for the opponent, but they need to grind through this Rexar, and he's just going to keep making monsters. We build, build, a, build a beast workshop. Let's sit down for the tail end of this one, shall we? Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Man, that kind of sucks, but it's fine. Let's 
Do you have a way to smash my monkey? Tilt. But they still want to smash that, right? They turn her up. That's pretty good. Is a wandering monster? Sure. <sighs> the first wish is free. Nice. I need to kill that one. That's annoying. Get some another taunt minion too. Hopefully we get a life steal rush here. Because they're probably gonna hit us for nine down to twenty-six, so we can actually start gaining some health here. Look, the Build a Beast Workshop is terrifying sometimes. That's pretty good. Wannabe Beetle, please put this herd's go toys or cake. Thank you, Wannabe Beetle. I appreciate the bits. Declan, Declan is getting a Megazord today. He will be very excited to find out. Stealth is they can't attack it until it makes a move. Well, that's pretty good. Our life total is actually getting a little pre precarious here, but they do also need to smash into Nox across. Thank you for the six month three subscription. I appreciate that half a year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for the continued support. This deck just generates such quality games. Like the number of choices we've gotten to make every single turn in this game is just so insane. Yeah, we definitely, I, I would have started looking for lifesteal last turn because we were getting a little aggressive, especially with this out, but we didn't have one. We def definitely need to prioritize getting getting a lifesteal rush if we find one. 10 out of 10 agree on that. This trade is really good for us because it means they're going to continue to try and grind through our card adva our advantage from the Rexar. They have a play here that's a little scary. Sure, you have an Angora back. No, they're too little to sit through sit through movies at this point. A little, little bit too little. Yeah, that laughing is actually recording. You know, it's funny. We've been streaming Magic Online with the sound off for so long that I forgot that there was audio for the sub noises. So I'm going to kill this... I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna play this Dorko, and I'm gonna pass the turn. I mean, if you're playing Tempo Mage, there's only one legendary card in that deck, even when it's not budget, and you don't need it to win by any means. That's so good that they're trading. I just want to not die here. I feel like if we don't die... Like if we don't die, we're just such a strong favorite here. Looking for a scale height at this point. Take it. The wandering monster out here. I'm gonna hold these other traps just in case, um, just in case we draw the last spellstone in our deck because the fully powered up spellstone is something I might want to play out. Another flappy bird. That's so good for us. He 
get to gain five there. I don't kill Flappy Bird, you're so rude. Why must you be so rude, opponent? That's a rope dar. God, that's good. I think, I think I'm just like continuing to build beasts though, right? Get my little baby Choo Choo. I'm just gonna trade this here and see what we get. That will be a sick amount of reach at some point down the line. What are the cards that are left in my deck? I think I just want to be aggressive here and play this bow, right? Pretty sure. Oh, I don't have the resources to play the bow when I play that card out. That's unfortunate. I should pay attention. Do I have a Hearthstone Primer like I have a Hex Primer? I do not. I figured this game has enough content that they probably don't need me, me to make an ex a, a specific one. I didn't realize, um, I didn't realize what I was doing with my turn. I didn't realize how every, all my resources were going to line up. I should have taken a bigger thing there. I think I'm okay with my opponent bananas at this point. Lifesteal for sure. So now I get to go ahead and kill this. And then I get to go ahead and play a 7-6 with lifesteal. Go. No, I don't think so. I've got I've got a spellstone in my seven cards left still. I'm like, the bow's not that good in relation to using the Build-A-Beast every turn. So while the bow is a good payoff, I think Rexar is actually more powerful a lot of the time in a matchup like this. So I want to prioritize just using Rexar as heavily as possible, and the traps have value for a spellstone later. What now? Because like they can kill this, or they can't actually kill this, right? It's only got, it's only got five attack. Hey Jeff, having a bad day. Could use Hogland really for some drink up. Thanks for the bits, Hogland is my hero. I hope your day gets better. Yeah, right, Mudo? Like, we've been playing this game for a while. Like. And, and it's just the game, the games that you play, I, I almost never feel like I got cheated out of a game of Hearthstone. I always feel like, well, I had a bunch of decisions I could have made here. Wow, that's aggressive. That's super wild. Well, now I'm really glad that I waited on this. Holy crap. There's the spellstone. All right, I'm going to hit this. I'm probably going to wing blast this turn. Hey, Doomsayer MTG. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the uh, two months of support. Thanks for re-upping. That's a five drop. All right, so I'm going to wing blast this. And I'm gonna go ahead and play both these traps out here. Just so I can power this stone up. And then like next turn I can just go spell stone plus this. And like if they don't have another sweeper, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. I will silence screams. Well, this thing has taunt, sure. Freezing Trap is gonna be pretty good at this attacks. Oh wait, can they not replay this now? Cause it costs 11? Is that just like hard removal for the Baku? <laughs> That's so great. We don't want a tracking at this point. Divine Shield seems pretty valuable rather than charge. I don't want a tracking because there's only a limited cards in my deck. No, I'm currently playing on the American server. We have four cards in our deck, a Hunter's Mark, an Animal Companion, another Kill Command. The Kill Commands are actually going to be crazy reach, right? We have like 10 points of reach here. That's really annoying. Okay, here's their N'Goro pack. The opponent's got four cards in their deck as well. So let's see, uh, let's see what their RNG is like here. I 
If they play out a couple of minions, we might finally get value off this Unleash the Hounds, which is nice. I assume they're just gonna hero power here. I've not played Shadowverse. We're looking for taunts and life stealers at this point. I might just go double unleash here, actually. Flappy bird. Nope. All right. So I can do this. I can do this. Just go trade you, trade you. Gobble. Poke you upstairs. I'm up to 24 here. Just like prioritizing life steal minions is really important here because this game's probably getting down to fatigue. No, I've never heard of chaotic. TCG. I had lethal. Oh, with the, the tracking and the... Yeah, I could have probably tracked any of the kill commands. The Megazords are really expensive, but I, I really want to get it for him. It's okay. You sent tons of bits. Believe me. You sent plenty of bits towards Megazords. That's actually really funny. Is Unleash tracking double kill command still lethal here, right? Because it's 2-5-5. Five, five. Right? And that cost me exactly 10 mana. 3-3-3-1. Three, 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 and one. Oh, he's at 13. He's at 13. Math is hard. I'm in a pickle right now. I got back on MTGO with Ponza, but it's not really the end all be all. I love longer games and decisions. Give me any deck suggestions that meet that criteria. Uh, I really like the green black rock deck. I think it's very powerful. Oh, right. They have B-A-N-A-N-A-S from my guy earlier. I, I genuinely don't know the ticket price of things on Magic Online. Sorry, I wish I did. That was the worst animal companion there. I guess with uh, Unleash the Hounds, it's not terrible. I would just recommend opening up MTG.fish, MTG Goldfish and looking at their metagame page. That's pretty good. I guess I have Deadly Shot here too though still. All right, so I go flanking strike here. I go deadly shot, kill your guy. I send this to your face. Deal to damage to minion. Oh, I could have done that too. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to kill command or am I supposed to build the beast? I feel like I'm supposed to build a beast, right? Yeah, I think it's build a beast because the kill commands I still have next turn. Charge, 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 charge. Stealth's actually pretty good here. They should pretty much be out of stuff at this point, right? I think the conservative line is, is waited turn to play this, right? So 
So I'm gonna go dog into this, into toxic arrow, into build a beast. That's really bad for us. I guess stealth is okay. Your soul is in my head. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, they know I have double kill command now. They're taking two from fatigue next turn, right? Right, they're taking two from fatigue, so I've got two free points. It just can't beat this, right? Only you can target this target this with hero powers. So I just play I just play this. Yeah, I know his entire hand, right? It's these this, these cards. So it's correct to like play this, kill this, kill this. And then they're just dead. Oh, Hydra's at 13. They're at. Oh, I guess Hydra's better, right? Yeah, Hydra's better. They can go three, well eight, and then this. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're dead. Yeah, they're both lethal because of the fatigue damage. Yeah, they copied our hand and replaced it with theirs. We know they don't have anything that can happen to us. We take damage from fatigue, and then our giant monster kills them. Woo! This deck generates just like, as far as like quality, quality card games games go, I feel like Spell Hunter generates the best quality of games in Hearthstone that I've played. It's really, it's really a sweet deck. I'm like, there's some games that are a slog like that, and there's other games where you just like have an aggressive draw with your spell stones and run them down. So, if you're looking for a deck that lets you play a lot of angles, and this deck's a great choice. It's also not getting anything. It's not also not nothing is getting nerfed from it in the upcoming nerfs, so it'll still be exactly the same. The meta game is going to change obviously, but this deck specifically will be the same. A Bob refers to Dark Confidant. Yep. I'm not doing wild decks just because I don't have any wild cards and I don't want to commit to spending dust on wild 